But moving on from the world of high-end rendering here, um, on to the world of esports, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Which we are such, you know, we're so into we're esports. S- we're such big esports pros. You know, we're such big esports <laughs> pros. Catch me in a round of Counter Strike. <laughs> <laughs> That's Will. Yeah. yeah, that's Will. That's Will. No, Will is a bit of an esports pro in his own right. But we have the finals, which actually was not a demonstration staging area mm-hmm. for any new crazy mega geometry features, any kind of neural rendering craziness. Mm-hmm. Instead, it was a bit of a testing site for NVIDIA Reflex and NVIDIA Reflex 2. Right. Which is, uh, which is a very interesting technology, kind of extrapolative almost in nature. Mm-hmm. So why don't you explain what we saw with the finals? Yeah, sure. This one is basically, I think this is just the training area of the game. Well, yeah. And, and it was very much so just, show, it was showing off a, a very interesting thing. It was running at like 90 or 100 FPS or even mm-hmm. a little bit lower, like 80s, 80s at times yeah. too. So I don't know what the hardware was exactly and the settings that it was the, at that. <laughs> uh, I don't actually know. It could have been like a 5K monitor. I wasn't looking at that. Yeah. But it was that was the that was the gist. And you could, with a single keystroke, switch between reflex off, reflex one, and reflex two. Reflex off uh, actually did feel noticeably weighty. Like... I actually did feel yeah. it felt noticeably weighty. Then you turned on Reflex One, and it felt like immediately better. Like yeah. that was a really apparent thing. It was going from like about 50, 45 milliseconds of uh, of latency there down to like twenty milliseconds yeah. or so as measured. Really big difference. Yeah. Like it was a huge difference yeah. actually. And so it was that was noticeable. Now Reflex Two, I would say less noticeable because we're talking about like. It, one frame. <laughs> it's one frame at like 100-ish FPS or whatever. So yeah. it's like 10 millisecond difference uh, between the potential latency numbers. Uh, so I couldn't, it like felt a little bit more immediate, but it was totally within the realm of maybe placebo perception. Yeah. Um, but the whole deal that makes Reflex 2 interesting, and we're going to see how people feel about it when they get it on their hands. It will definitely probably feel mostly Im- more immediate to most people. Yeah. But it's also like playing with your perception to do this. It's basically like kind of like, what do they call it? Like space warp? Space warp. It's, yeah, basically like the kind of warping that you get when you have 60 hertz content on the 120 hertz display for PSVR 1 and PSVR 2. Right. And I think other headsets do this as well. And they all have specific names for them. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. We're basically like they take this. 2D image and they kind of warp it to align with your current position in the in the VR space, your current movement and velocity. They kind right. of try to do that. It's like a yeah, like a space time warp or something. Yeah, like there's a phrase for it that I just can't at this <laughs> late hour after having like buzzed through all this Very stuff late. today. So, yeah, um, but and you know like that warping. They have to like cover the edges of the screen. They have to cover yeah. all the disoccluded stuff, as he was saying next to us. And we were just trying to like look for it. And like the immediate impression was like, you don't really see it. You don't really see it. No. And like if you were to like l- like if you were to play the game in a way that you wouldn't play an esport title, I would say like where you go like this up to the screen and then you look at like text at a difference yeah. at a distance. Or maybe you look at the corners of the screen where you could see like objects doubling for a little bit at like the very edge of the screen. Uh, but I don't think that's actually how people play competitive FPSs. Yeah. So I think this will actually be something that most people could potentially turn on and just say, like, yeah, I'll leave that on. Yeah. Alex and I were really doing some of the most hardcore pixel peeping <laughs> that, that I can certainly remember in my time at Digital Foundry. Because we were pushing our faces right up against, like, the barrel of the gun and seeing how its movement differed and seeing how the trails of artifacts differed between Reflex 1 and Reflex 2, which was complicated a little bit by the fact that the finals makes very, very heavy use of screen space effects, screen space reflections, yeah, yeah, which yeah. kind of get tied up and all that stuff. So It's, it's already a, disoccluding. It already has sorry, disoccluding issues disoccluding. anyways, right? So it's yeah, like, yeah. And we were able to see just a tiny bit of additional artifact around that gun, almost like a kind of double image effect, but not quite, where like that very, very, very fast kind of generative fill Mm -hmm. is showing up in the image. But it was very minor and relative to the other kinds of image quality issues that we observed in the finals, which I'm not not trashing the finals. I'm just saying that, you know, there are issues inherent to the way that it's uh, doing its lighting, for instance. And another thing, like, that made this hard to see um, 
was that, you know, this is, this wasn't like a G-Sync Pulsar display, I don't believe, or something like that. Oh. I think it was, we were also seeing like, you know, persistence issues. Yeah. Like it was, it was pretty, it was generic. I would just say it was like re weirdly hard to see and we didn't come into it expecting that. I think we were expecting to see more issues, right? Yeah, I was personally expecting, because I was personally expecting just to see like some greater amount of issue here, but like, I don't know if this feature was offered in any game. I mean, it's kind of a take it or leave it feature, I suppose, if it's only going to improve uh, latency by one frame. But I wouldn't mind leaving it on in just about any game because I don't honestly think I would ever really notice notice it unless unless I mean, granted, this is a first person game. Third person games could, could be different, more yeah. significant issues with dissolution. Yeah, yeah. If you're running this at like 30 FPS, <laughs> maybe maybe don't. I would have to advise you, especially if you're playing with a very high sensitivity is possibly that could also play into it, right? We weren't like going crazy with no, no I would, that. Yeah, like I, I imagine if you did like a full 360 arc in like one, yeah. like, like you know, I'm talking about like 6,000 DPI or something like that, like like anything, you'd probably find issues, yeah. but I don't think that's what this was about. I think it was like immediate mouse feel, but yeah. Yeah, yeah.